biggest festivals in the world. The festival that is actually is for the whole family. Uh, well, the game that's played behind me is called Last Bastion. It is uh, mostly uh, aimed at gamers, like people who have experience in strategy games, and I think any kind of demographic will be welcome here. Oldest game in the world, and that is played by the most number of people on all four continents, but this particular version is played predominantly all over West Africa. You know, it teaches you um, how to delay gratification, um, how to actually calculate, it develops your memory. The aim is to build a great structure of scales like this in, the, in order to catch the moon. It's by putting one scale at a time with one hand. It's, it's more a, a team game, a family, uh, family moment. This kind of, uh, of shapes, one of them is uh, the guesser. You have to guess the picture uh, here. Every country has the game style of preference, conventions in Mexico fairly frequently, and they very much like party games. Favorite game? Oh la la. Whoa. Uh, it's hard to choose one. Uh, la Boise en Cavale. My game. I, personally, I prefer game cards because uh, it's good to make a good uh, spirit in a, in a party, for example, and it's quick. The Dixit because it's uh, really uh, uh, beautiful. The cars are really beautiful and you can play with everybody. It's really easy. So it's a great party game uh, for the family, friends, and everyone. Every eye is bigger and bigger. I think it's getting more and more popular. Uh, it's the best uh, festival uh, in the world. I think everyone should play it because it's a very nice uh, way to learn things and to explore the world. Yeah.